Hello, hello from Diet Tom's Diet Tom's. I'm Jason, and today I want to help you select some premium quality objectives to upgrade your microscope. Yes, if you have an amateur grade microscope of reasonable quality, usually some kind of binocular scope with an adjustable Abe condenser, there's a good chance that you can outfit it with some truly high grade optics. Now, before we begin, I want to start off by saying there are some assumptions I'm making about your microscope and what you want to do. The main one is that you're using a 160 millimeter tube length microscope and not an infinity corrected microscope. So if you're not sure, take a look at the objectives on your microscope. If they say 160 somewhere on the side, then you have a 160 millimeter microscope. And if you see an infinity symbol on the side, then you have an infinity corrected microscope. If you have a mix of both, call a priest. And if you see 170, call a German priest. Now, that isn't everything, but rather than pack all of it into this video, I decided to put together a companion guide in the form of a little PDF presentation. There's a link in the description, and I'd recommend going through at least the assumptions section before committing to any purchases. It's also probably not a bad idea to check out my videos on objective corrections and numerical aperture either. So, assuming my assumptions are appropriately assumed, let's begin. Okay, I have some potentially distressing news for you. Make sure you're sitting down. That shiny, brand new 160mm microscope you just got from Santa? It's outdated. By like a lot. You see, by the early 90s, Basically, every premier microscope manufacturer stopped making high-end 160mm optics and instead switched over to infinity-corrected optics. Infinity-corrected microscopes are the current state-of-the-art and offer the highest possible performance today, assuming you can afford to buy one. But fear not, because the high-end 160mm optics manufactured in the 80s are still really, really good. Definitely better than the stock A chromats your scope likely came with. These vintage systems represent the happy medium for someone who wants to do really high performance microscopy without spending thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars on modern infinity systems. If you pursue this hobby long enough, you'll probably find all sorts of sources for optics like this, including trading with other hobbyists. But your first purchase will probably come from good old eBay. There are plenty of microscope specialists and surplus folks on eBay selling quality optics at reasonable prices. Just make sure you're buying from someone who seems to know what they're talking about and has a good selling reputation. So just go on and search for some 160 millimeter microscope objectives and see what you find. Okay, wow. Uh, there are a whole bunch of these things, huh? Uh, different shapes and vintages and designations, manufacturers. My goodness, how, how can you know what's right for you? Well, there's no way to fully cover all the nuances of objectives in a single YouTube video. So for today, I'm going to limit you to a small set of objectives from two different manufacturers, Olympus and Nikon. The objectives I recommend for you are Olympus's D-Plan, S-Plan or S-Plan APO Brightfield Objectives, or Nikon's E-Plan, CFN-Plan, or CFN-Plan APO Brightfield Objectives. These are roughly organized into similar product classes, which I refer to as low-end plans, high-end plans, and high-end plan apochromats. The low-end plans can be found for modest prices and will generally achieve the same level of detail as your current objectives, but be less blurry out towards the edges. The high-end plans will achieve slightly better detail and have just generally overall better corrections and contrast. And the high-end plan apochromats will afford you substantially more detail with exceptional color accuracy, although somewhat less native contrast than achromats. In the accompanying PDF guide, I go into more depth about why you might choose one company or objective over the other, as well as considerations and thoughts for buying optics in general. For example, if you think your 40X objective gets uncomfortably close to the slide, 
check out how close this S Plan Apo 40X gets. I don't recommend these for beginners. Peruse the guide, consider how you use your microscope, and make an informed decision before throwing away your Christmas bonus. And finally, I want to talk about the future of your microscopy. Now, by all means, there's no need to upgrade your microscope to make progress in this hobby. You can see amazing things and produce great content with a very simple and low-cost setup. And if you stick with this channel, you'll absolutely learn ways to improve your microscopy with an amateur-grade scope. In fact, the next video on my schedule is about an inexpensive and awesome upgrade that works best with cheap objectives. But if you ever feel like you're hitting a wall, or you want to raise the ceiling of your microscopy, then you might consider eventually upgrading to a vintage, clinical-grade microscope. These clinical-grade scopes can be found in refurbishable condition for astonishingly low prices, sometimes less than what you paid for your brand new AMScope. And once cleaned up and re-lubed, they'll open up a whole new world of exciting possibilities in the hobby. We'll talk more about this in the future, but for now, I want to present to you my advanced amateur microscopy roadmap. It's not something you have to follow to a T, it's just a progression that I think seems reasonable for the intrepid hobbyist. You'll start out with the amateur grade microscope. Maybe your new journey to the microcosmos microscope, or a Swift or Amscope, something like that. And then you might pick up a couple high-end objectives to replace the cheap achromats it came with. And you'll have a lot of fun with those and take cool pictures and videos. And then you'll pick up a clinical grade microscope and transfer the optics that you have onto it. And at that point, you'll have a tremendously versatile platform with which to pursue all sorts of advanced microscopy. If you really want to pursue techniques like phase contrast, epifluorescence, maybe even DIC someday, one of these 80s vintage clinical grade microscopes may be your best platform moving forward. And that about does it for today. As always, feel free to send me questions or ask for advice. And if you get some new objectives and take photos with them, yeah, I absolutely want to see that. Leave a link in the comments or send it to the channel's email address. Good luck with your microscopy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video.